Hello, I'm Emma Teasdale. I'm the lead author on our paper that has explored views of topical steroids for eczema that parents have shared in online discussion forums. So we did this study because previous uh, research has revealed poor treatment adherence and concerns uh, about topical steroid use amongst parents and carers of children with eczema. And as a research fellow in health psychology, um, I was particularly interested in uh, trying to understand more about parents and carers' concerns about topical steroids and to explore other potential barriers to their use. And I'm also particularly interested in using qualitative methods as they are well suited to exploring in depth um, a particular topic from uh, the perspective of a particular group of people. And we know that online forums are increasingly being used to communicate with others who have similar health conditions and as such they can provide us with a rich and valuable source of naturalistic qualitative data about people's experiences of a particular health condition. So we conducted a scoping review of online eczema resources um, from which we identified two online discussion forums that were currently active, UK based and did not require you to register to view the discussions. Um, one of these was uh, an eczema support forum and the other one was a general parenting forum. And we used the internal search functions and um, topic headings within the discussion forums to identify relevant discussions about topical steroid use in children. And any relevant uh, discussions were then copied into Microsoft Word and then they were exported uh, into a, a piece of software called MVivo for qualitative analysis. So we found that forum users valued um, the advice and the shared experiences that they got from the online discussion forums, particularly if they had received conflicting advice or they had unresolved queries after consultation. Um, forum users expressed a general sense of cautiousness about um, topical steroids. Um, we found uh, wide-ranging concerns and considerable confusion within the discussion posts, particularly around um, the potency of different products, um, how long to use them for and, and what was safe, um, particularly whether um, it was safe to use these products on the face uh, and in babies and young children. Um, we found um, examples of posts that um, attempted to reassure other users that topical steroids are safe if used correctly, but the overall impression of the information was of um, advice that would be likely to exacerbate people's existing concerns. So our study highlights that people seeking um, expert information in online forums are likely to find advice um, with potentially negative as well as positive impacts. And the widespread confusion expressed in the forums suggests the need for clear and consistent advice on topical steroid use in childhood eczema, including signposting parents and carers towards um, reliable evidence-based online resources such as NHS Choices, um, patient.co.uk, um, the Nottingham Support Group, for carers of children with eczema and the National Eczema Society. I hope you found this video summary useful. Thanks for listening.